In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to change the render distance in Daisy. It's a very quick and easy process, so make sure to follow along. First of all, I want to make two disclaimers. This is a process that you don't do in game. You have to do this process with the method I'm gonna show you in this video by altering the settings inside of a certain file for Daisy. And the next one is that if you change any settings inside of the game after auto in the file, the view distance will be reset. So after you make these changes, do not touch the in game settings. All you have to do is open up the file explorer on your computer and navigate to documents. You should be able to see a Daisy folder over here. Open it up. And as you can see, I don't have Daisy actually installed on this computer, so I'm doing this video for demonstration purposes only. However, in your case, you should have a bunch of files listed here. You have to find this file. It's going to have your username followed by settings.daisy profile. Open this file with Notepad or Notepad++, whichever one you prefer. And after you open this file inside of it, you will be able to see these settings. As you can see, you should be able to find scene complexity, shadow Z distance, view distance, preferred object view distance, and terrain grid. All you have to change realistically is the view distance. If you wish, you can alter these other values, but in this video, I'm just going to focus on the view distance. There might be a bunch of other values over here, but like I said, you simply have to focus on the view distance. You can either set it higher or lower. Do whatever you prefer, as long as you save these settings, you can close this file and open up DayZ with the altered setting over here. Your render distance will be changed in-game according to this file. I hope I was able to help you on how to change render distance in DayZ. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more quick and easy tips. Thank you for watching.